Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I want to give you a simple VWAP trading scalp strategy for trading stocks that you can go back and back test right away. See if you can get 50 to 100 of them to produce a 50% or better win rate and then start putting live money to work. So if you're looking for a simple strategy, you want something you can back test, you want something you get started with, you like the VWAP, which is the volume weighted average price, stick around because this video is for you. All right, so today's video is going to be short and sweet, and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to put the VWAP onto your trading platform. I'm using Ameritrade's Thinkorswim platform, and I'm going to go ahead, put the VWAP on. I'm going to show you what the lines mean. We're going to break that all down, and then I'm going to show you this simple trading strategy, and this is going to be part one of a three-part series. I'm going to do one part today, and then I'm going to film two more parts that are to come, so stay tuned for those. Turn your bell notifications on. Subscribe if you haven't because they're going to all involve a different candlestick formation that's going to trigger your entry. So with that, let's go ahead. Let's put the VWAP on here, and I just want to walk you through this. So if you come up to your studies, you turn this on, you say edit studies, you want to come in, and in this box here, you can just click, you can just type VWAP or VWA, and you'll see it pop up. Double click it. That'll put it in here for you, so now you've got it. And then when you double click this, you're just gonna leave all these settings the same. You can change the color of, of it if you want. But you're gonna come in, you wanna make sure that this show study is checked. So click OK, click Apply, click OK, and there it is. So if I zoom way out on Tesla right now, you can see three lines. Now, what you need to know about it is that the top line is basically saying this is 75% of the average volume weighted price. The bottom line is 25% of the average, and the middle line, well that's just the average weighted price. So if I zoom in here a little bit, you can see that price action tends to pinball around between the 75% point and the 25% point. So one thing that people like to do is they like to try to catch the reversals. They like to wait for it to push up and then take it short to the downside. And then conversely, they want to wait till it gets to the bottom, use that as support, and then play the reversal and take it back to the upside. So I want to show you a very simple strategy and we can, we can actually go through a few tickers and on the fly, I'll look for entries so that you know this isn't like pre-set up where I just cherry picked a bunch of things that look good. We'll actually go through a few charts and see if we can find multiple occurrences of this, okay? All right, so on Tesla's chart right here, if I zoom in, and I'm on the two minute chart, it's just my personal preference. You could trade the five minute or the one minute or the whatever, whatever you wanna trade. I just have the two minute up because it's nice for scalping and it's nice for playing off of the VWAP. So any time that you get price action that's moving upward, the one thing you want to watch for with this type of trading strategy is a piercing or a breaking of the upper VWAP band. And that is this red band right up here. Once that gets pierced, you want to start to pay attention. You want to wait for a candle to close above that VWAP line. So you can see right in here, and I'll zoom in even closer, you can see that this candle pushed up and actually broke that upper band. So once that happened, I said to myself, okay, now I'm waiting for my candle formation to allow or trigger an entry. And that candle formation is simply a bullish or bearish engulfing candle pattern. And all that means is that one candle's body is larger than the preceding candle's body. And I'm gonna show you an example right now. So you get this push up, you get the pierce, here's the break. Now you're waiting to see a candle engulf this entire body. So the next candle, it didn't happen. The next candle, it didn't happen. This one did not engulf this one. Then you wait for the next candle. This one did not engulf this one. So you're still waiting. Then you get this candle that comes in. Now do you see that the body of this candle, it's kind of a, a hammer candle, a pin bar doji. The body's pretty small. This next body comes in and completely covers up 
the high and the low of this candle. So once the high and the low get covered up by the next candle's body and continues and closes in that formation, that basically constitutes basically a bearish or bullish engulfing candle. In this case, this would be a bearish engulfing candle right here. It engulfed the prior candle's body. So once this candle closes, that's when I would take an entry. I would say, okay, on the open of the next candle, I'm going to get short and I'm going to place my stop loss above the high of this pivot. And when I say pivot, I just mean a high point or a low point in price action. This pushed up, went a little bit higher, a little bit higher, a little bit higher, and then lower. And you got your triggered entry. So technically, the high on this candle is 507.76. So your stop loss could be at 507.80 or 507.77, whichever you prefer. So now that that's happened, you have to make a decision for yourself how much profit you're actually looking to take. So let's say you got short at the open of this candle, which is 505.12. This candle's high is 507.76. So I'm just going to get my phone out. I'm going to do some quick math and give you an exact number. So a high is 507, and I think I said 76. So we'll call that roughly your stop loss. And we're going to subtract this open price. This open price is 505.12, 505.12. So that means you have a $2.64, we'll call it $2.65 stop loss. So now what you're looking for is that's basically your R value. You're, you're basically risking $2.64 per share. And then you have to make a decision on what you want to make. Do you want to look to make a full $2.64 to the downside? Well, let's see where it went. So if you come down here, and this is where the back testing comes in. This is the most important part. You found an entry where you would have been triggered. You know where you would have put your stop loss. Now you need to see how far does it go. So let's say, okay, before it bounced, where would we have gotten stopped? So we clearly on this candle, this would have stopped us out, all right, because it breaks the high of this candle. So we know that this low point, that's the lowest it went. So from the open, which again is 505.12, the low of this candle is 498. So 498. So that means that the move you would have captured from the open price to the low of this candle, which is the lowest it went, was $7.12. So you would have been risking $2.65 on your stop loss and looking to take profit at some multiple of that. So let's say your $2.65 is basically one risk unit for you. A lot of people like to go 2R. They like to go double what their stop loss is. That's a great way to play this game. So let's take 265. Let's multiply it by 2. That's $5.30. So you can clearly see that this trade would have pushed down $5.30 because it went $7.12. So you would have entered on the open of this candle and you would have had a bracket order. If you don't know what a bracket order is, check out this video. I'm laying things out on how to place a bracket order. You would have hit your target $5.30 later and then you would have been out. That would have been a 2R winner. And depending on what you decided to risk, whether that was $10, $25, $5,000, whatever, you would have doubled what you risked. That would have been a successful trade. And if you wanted to back test this, you would start a spreadsheet like a Google Doc. You would write in the date, everything that got triggered, the specifics, where this candle, uh, where this candle opened, what was the lowest point it went, and then you mark that in. You say, okay, there's one winner, one trial, one winner. My win rate right now is 100%. So then you say, okay, let's move on. Let's buy something else. And what we could do is, I'm just going to pick a random stock. Let's do, um, let's look at like Roku. Let's see what it did today. <clears throat> I actually haven't even looked at Roku today. So we'll see if it broke the view app. So you can see with Roku, it did not, it broke right here but we didn't get a bearish engulfing candle that starts above the body or at the top of the body and, and basically covers up the entire remainder of the body. So let's look at something else. Let's maybe look at, uh, let's look at Twitter. Let's see what it did today. So on Twitter, 
we can see that we did get a break. Okay, so here we had a break up, but you can see this isn't a bearish engulfing because it started lower than the top of the body. You just have to iron out exactly when you're going to enter. You got to know if, you, if you're going to do a, a bearish engulfing candle, you got to make sure it's technically engulfing every time. So right here, this is technically a bearish engulfing candle. See how it covers the body of this one up? But the problem is you didn't get a close above the top VWAP band. So what you want to do here is let's come out here and see if we can get another one. So we didn't get one. We got a break. No bearish engulfing, covering up, so we didn't get one there. So let's look at AMD. And I apologize if this is tedious, but this is what backtesting is. This is exactly what you need to do. You got to go back through and see exactly what happened. Um, okay, looks like we might have, that was not quite, this one here looks pretty close. Let's focus on this one. So you've got a, a piercing of the upper band. This pushed up again, so you're still waiting for that bearish engulfing candle. This one opens with an equal high of the bodies, and then it bearish engulfs this entire body. So this one engulfs, so that's perfect. So what you'd want to do here, let me zoom out just a tiny bit, is you want to say, okay, I'm back testing this. So I would enter on the open of this candle, which would have been, um, let's actually see where our stop loss would have been. You would go stop loss above this high. So that high was 82.91. And then your entry would have been here at the open, which would be 82.58. 82.58. So that means 33 cents would be your stop loss. So if you were wanting to go double that, which would be 66 cents, you'd have to see from your open price at 82.58 minus 66 cents means 81.92 would be the price you would have to reach in order to get 2R or two times what you risked. And you can see that doesn't happen because it comes down and it bounces. And it comes up and then it bounces again and you would have gotten stopped out right Actually, you would have been stopped on this candle right here. So this one, this time it didn't work. So now you would put in your spreadsheet, the setup, the time of day, everything about it. Then you've got to say it was a loser. So now we've had two trials. One was a winner. One was a loser. So now our win rate is 50%. But you can't stop here. This isn't a large enough sample size. So we need to go at least 50 trades. Even 100 is even better. If you can get 100 trades in, and then calculate your percentage with the same setup every time. That's gonna give you a more accurate representation of this trading strategy. So let's just go back a day. Let's go previous day and see if this gave us any opportunities. And it did not. I'm gonna look at Tesla. And this is where it also comes in to be important with, um, you know, if you have your screen set up with four or five different little thumbnails where you can watch a bunch of stocks at the same time, you can see if one's pushing up and, and piercing that upper VWAP band. Now, you can have variations on this. People use other indicators in combination with this, but this is just strictly a VWAP trading strategy for scalpers who are looking to take some quick profit off of a pierce of the upper VWAP band. So I'm going to roll Tesla back one day. Let's see if it broke. Okay, look what we got here. We've got a break on Tesla. No bearish engulfing candles come in until here. So you can see the high of this candle, 484, 484.98. And then we'll subtract the open, because you would enter on the open of this candle. The open would be 479.85. And that means you're risking $5.13. We'll multiply that by two means $10.26 below this open. So 479.85 minus our $10.26. We have to get to 469.59 in order to hit our 2R target. So let's see if that happens. And clearly that does not happen because 
That's down here, 469. So this one didn't work. Another one that didn't work. So you can see why it's important to back test. Now, you could be saying, well, what if I don't go for 2R? What if I just go 1R? And that may be what you want to do, ultimately. So if you said, you know, the open here was at 479.85, and let's say you just do 1R, you just subtract roughly $5. Now you have to get to 474.85, which also, well, let's see, what's the low on this one? That one would have happened. So if you would have only risked and gone one R, you would have got a winner on this wick down here. Because remember, you'll have your bracket order. You'll have your stop loss active, and you'll have your take profit active. And it would have been triggered. So you would have won one R on this trade. So you just need to find out which stocks you like to trade, back test those with this type of VWAP trading setup, and see where that takes you. But if you can play the bottom and the top, this goes for the bottom as well. You can wait for it to pierce the bottom, get a bullish engulfing candle, and then take it to the long side. That would also work. So this is a simple upper and lower VWAP band piercing setup that incorporates a bearish or bullish engulfing candle that triggers your entry and allows you to get short or long with a bracket order and you can come up with your trading plan based on your back tests. How far? Record. Does it go 1R? Does it go 1.5R? Does it go 2R? Does it go 3R? Whichever one of those gives you the most profit, that's likely going to be the one that you want to go with. So try that out. Let me know how it goes. I want you to comment below. Tell me how it's going. Let me know if you guys are having any success with this. If you have questions, Post them below. I want to hear all about your back tests and stay tuned because part two is coming soon. It's going to involve a different candlestick entry. All right, we'll see you next time. <laughs>